The first module of the Beam Developer course with IFCJS has been released. Now, before you do anything else, leave me a comment and tell me if you are enrolled in this course and if you are as pumped as I am. Hello friends, welcome back to Beam Voice. My name is Petro Condoraro and today I want to touch a little bit the launch of this course. I must say that I'm very happy and very surprised in a very positive way that so many people have joined in this course. So there is a lot of interest and I'm very, very happy and excited about the effects this is going to have in our industry. We are going to do this. We are going to change our industry and we are going to make it one of the most attractive industries for many individuals. I really believe that. And like I previously mentioned in other videos, I am sure that there is a revolution happening right now. And I really hope you are part of it. Because if you are, you are going to have a huge impact. And for that, I'm really grateful to you. Now let's just quickly go over the course. I assume most of you have gotten into Notion and maybe started already. I must confess that I already finished this module, which is not very complex. It's just the beginning. And at the same time, very 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 important so keep that in mind this chapter is not very excited it's just the bare bones of the internet html right but at the same time is very important as every other part it plays a crucial role in this and we need to go through this through the basics to get to more advanced stuff so do not despair it is not going to be like this the entire course i'm sure most of us will hit a wall when we will start the javascript chapter at least most probable CSS is going also to be a bit more complicated, but that does not matter. We need to go through this. So it's important to keep that in mind. The most exciting stuff is going to happen here at the end, right? When we will get to 3.js and IFC.js, but you cannot jump straight there without having a clue about HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I must give props to Antonio because this course is really well made. It's very nice laid out in Notion and very easy to use. And at the same time, you have a video. I mostly use the videos because I like mostly video content, but there are some situations when the text is best. And at the same time, there might be people that like mostly to read and go through text, right? And there is no shame in that. There is no problem with that. Very nice. You can see here. You can comment. If you have any questions, you can just highlight something and click on comment and you will be able to type in a comment here and you will get an answer, hopefully afterwards, right? You will definitely get an answer. Antonio is nice and kind and, and he is answering to the question. I don't know if it's only him using this account, if there are more people using IFCJS, but they answer. So do count on that. Like I said, these two weeks are going to be slower because I assume most of you will go quickly through this content because it's not very complex. Everything is going to change when we get to JavaScript, like I said. It's going to go to a completely different level, especially for people who never code who never have been exposed to code but do not despair and keep something else in mind it's important to realize something is not a shame and not only not a shame it's very recommended to go more times through something until you absorb the knowledge and you grasp it and understanding it's not so easy like html it's easy to understand it's very straightforward and so on but later on you will face some situations but when you are learning the repetition it's a way to embed into yourself this knowledge you just were exposed to at the same time these modules right here or the entire html chapter is not very comprehensive is not very deep let's say but that is not a problem antonio covers everything what is important for you to know but there are also other resources if you would like to learn more if there are things that you feel you did not understand here or from asking questions in notion or in the discord server then there are more resources and these two are my favorite two resources if you want to learn this actually i have three i will add that afterwards so if you want to go much deeper into this and if you have the time to do that and if you are interested of course there is this website right here which is very well known w3schools.com here you find tutorials for a lot of stuff i will leave these links in the description so don't despair if you go here you will get to this homepage, and from here you go to tutorials and click here on the learn html link and here you will be redirected to this place what is nice about this is that you can edit as well the code and you can try and see what happens when you change something right like for example if you want to add an h2 let's say and you do something like this and you this is a h2 header and when you click run, you'll get it here as a smaller heading than this one right here. Oh, I wrote header, so maybe heading is the right one. Sorry for that. So here we go. Very simple, very easy to use. I really recommend it. Now, if you want to read even more, I think this is even more comprehensive. It's the Mozilla Developer Network has these tutorials for 
all these web technologies. As you can see here, you will find for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, web forms, and more. But because we are talking about HTML, here it is. HTML, structuring the web with HTML. And here you start and you see all this stuff, which is very well explained. And I definitely recommend you to go through this. If you click here in introduction to HTML, you will see here, complete beginner start here. Maybe it's uh, better to just read a bit about the web and whatever it is here before you get exactly to HTML. As we can see, HTML basics is a bit later on, but at the same time, this is more basic, right? So this is very basic. So you understand a bit how HTML, CSS and JavaScript are working together. And after that, it dives deep into HTML. So these are the two very well known and very recommended sources. I will always go back here. Like for example, I've been learning some Python lately and I go here and I search for libraries, for commands, for methods, for everything I need to know and I need to understand how they work, right? But there is also something else which is called Free Code Camp. If you go here to Free Code Camp, it is also a free online platform to learn how to code. And from here, you can go to the menu and here click on curriculum. And here you can choose here responsive web design certification. You can see 300 hours. This is very comprehensive. You go through this and made it manually. And after that, you get some uh, projects. And after finishing them, you get this certification. Certification maybe is not so important, but what you need to understand here, like this platform is used by many, many programmers. A lot of people using this platform have gotten job as programmers. And as you can see here, this is only the first step responsive web design certification after that is javascript algorithms and front-end developer you need to go through more modules to become a full well-versed developer and you can see there is also for python as well and data analysis and so on there is so much stuff here and this is very good content and a lovely community and like i said i know people who got jobs after doing these courses here but like i said now it depends how much time you have and what do you want to achieve with this right if you want to focus on ifcjs then maybe it's a bit of overkill but it's up to you i will put it there and you do whatever you feel like the more reps you get the better you will become and at the same time more confident in your new skills i think that that would be it for now. If you think I forgot to mention something important here, do not hesitate to leave me a comment below and let me close this by thanking to Antonio and to the entire IFCJS team and community for this amazing effort. I'm really grateful to you for challenging this industry and I will do my best to contribute as much as I can. Keep up the good work and see you in the next one.